What's going on guys? Comes here back again on another MLB the 18 Diamond Dynasty video. And if you guys could be so kind to quickly go down below, hit that sub button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Don't miss a single video of the MLB the 18 content going down on this channel. But of course today with this video, it's time. Of course you guys know we are getting a lot of new immortals. Of course we saw Ryan Sandberg. I'll throw a screenshot of his stats up right now. Uh, he looks pretty good. I think he's definitely going to be better than Jackie Robinson, who's the currently only second base immortal in the game. So I think he'll be a lot better. Of course he will be the rank season's reward for October. So on Monday he will be officially released. Keep in mind he will not be sellable if you want to get Ryan Sandberg. You are going to have to reach the 900 rating point threshold to be able to get him because he is not sellable. Being able to get into the World Series tier is the only way to get him. So that is one of the five new immortals coming this month and November that they did say is coming. Now we don't know exactly if we are going to get more immortals past that. I would assume maybe, but at this point I'm kind of finding it a little bit difficult to think who exactly the other immortals would be and that's they literally want to just blow the roof off the place and start giving out immortals sick guys like Gallo and Blash which would be really really cool but uh <laughs> I really really just do not see it happening but of course if you guys do not know there has been a couple uh immortals leaked this year and uh, we've covered a couple on this channel and a couple we have not first of all you guys already know ted williams he is going to be an immortal guys for everybody doubting just stop you know he's gonna be an immortal we did get a free 87 uh a free 87 overall ted williams is kind of a tease who is actually not a bad card but guys yes they have his rights guys come on we are getting ted williams immortal if we don't i will literally give everybody who watches this video one thousand dollars just uh just send me the cash app i'll send you a thousand dollars if we do not get any mortal ted williams guaranteed we are going to get that one current vegas betting odds is it will be in the ticket counter i don't know for sure but some point within before november we will be getting ted williams immortal trust me it's going to happen but of course we did also see another kind of a leak earlier on this year where uh trout and justin verlander were leaked to both have immortals now of course as you guys can see staring in your eyes right now mike trout he got an immortal now i thought this was gonna happen regardless or whether or not that leak is true and as you guys can see his stats right here he's a good card he's a good hitter and he's got 95 speed he's also got 92 fielding only thing really i don't like about this card vision is kind of low so is his arm uh, arm strength but nonetheless this court is really really good and it's current it's more like a future immortal obviously you know he's far from finished in his mlb career as you guys know but we know we're getting trout so that means uh that leads me to believe we might get justin verlander as well now the thing about verlander in my opinion He's a Hall of Famer. I think Justin Furlater absolutely will make the Hall of Fame. No doubt about it. You know, he pitched, uh, I, he won the postseason MVP for the Astros last year. He didn't win World Series MVP, but if they didn't have Verlander, they would not have won the World Series. I know that for a fact, and I don't know really how they factor in like postseason play and World Series play for the MLB Hall of Fame, but in my eyes, it's regarded pretty highly, so Verlander absolutely one of the great pitchers that we have seen in the MLB and of course he's had 99 overall flashbacks in the past and if you guys do not know what overall the immortals are if you guessed 99 congratulations you are correct all immortals are 99 overalls and you know the Verlander could be pretty good you know of course the immortals are a mashup of the best that they've ever done that's why Trout has kind of more so his current hitting stats yet he still has 95 speed or 94 speed because that's the highest it has ever been and uh, we're gonna keep that in mind for other guys that we do talk about but Verlander I think we are going to get a immortal Justin Verlander and I, I'd be happy with that because he's really good in the game wise so you know we did get his POTM card um, but that's only a 92 immortal would be 99 so I definitely do think we are going to get that card um, I don't know exactly when but once again I'd imagine he'd be one of the four that we will be receiving because what's I don't know if we're gonna get any more immortals past this I know we're getting more content um, which I'll discuss a little bit later in this video but you know, Verlander, I do think he's going to come. 
And finally, we go down to our last two Immortals out of the five, of course, Ryan Sandberg, Ted Williams, and Justin Verlander being the three we've covered so far. These ones are going to be my predictions, and if you ask me, my predictions on this game are usually pretty good. Whether it be the roster update, I predicted pretty much all the career arcs correctly. I'm usually pretty good at doing this, and uh, the first guy I will predict, and keep in mind this is going in order because... I'll show the uh, screenshot that they showed us. Um, of course, October 1st, we're getting ranked seasons, a hitter, that is Ryan Sandberg, of course. Um, the ticket counter hitter on the 19th, once again, I think that's gonna be Ted Williams. Honestly, uh, November 1st for the next ranked season, I would say that's probably gonna be Verlander if I had to guess. And then of course you guys can see on October 4th, which is actually coming out just this next week, a hitter and a pitcher for events. Now. A pitcher I do think is going to be Gaylord Perry. We do not have a single uh, single Gaylord Perry card yet in the game. And uh, I'm pretty, pretty confident that he is in the game. We'll go ahead and check right here. And uh, yeah, there's Gaylord Perry right there. So they do have his rights. Um, but we have not received a card of him yet. He has 99 cards in 16 and in 17. I think he actually had multiple 99 overall cards. Honestly, I don't really remember me ever liking his cards gameplay wise, which kind of sucks. Um, but obviously him being an immortal, his stats are going to be highly inflated. But I do think he will be getting one. Uh, because there's not really that many pitchers left. I mean, Oral Hershiser got a 92 overall, so I kind of doubt that he's going to get a better card than that. Uh, we already covered Justin Verlander, Burt Blylevin. Um, I really don't think uh, he's more deserving than Gaylord Perry. I would take Gaylord Perry over him. And, uh, you know, I just start to come at a loss for, like, starting pitchers that I would think would be an immortal caliber player. So, Gaylord Perry, not in the game, 99 overalls in every MLB The Show. And, uh, honestly, he kind of fits the immortal criteria. So, I think he will be one of them. And then the other hitter for the event. I'm going to pick one that I think a lot of people would like. And that is going to be... Mr. Miguel Cabrera, 92 overall, he has a card already, but like I said, Immortals are a mashup of the best they've ever been, and if you notice, they don't have his Florida Marlins card in the game, so if you combine that with like the speed that he had earlier on um, in his career when he actually won a World Series with the Marlins, his speed is going to be better, his fielding is going to be better. You know, his hitting, honestly, I don't know how this is that low for this being his, uh, you know, his triple crown year. But even so, Immortals are a mashup of the best they've ever been. So he's going to have the best average versus righties, the best average versus lefties, best slugging percentage versus righties, best slugging percentage versus lefties, best vision. He's going to have a combination of the best of everything. And honestly, out of everybody left hitters wise, I think Miguel Cabrera probably is the most deserving. At this point, I kind of wonder, they probably shouldn't have made Johnny Bench and Mike Schmidt uh, career arcs because I think they definitely are both deserving of an immortal card. Um, but, you know, hindsight is 2020. I don't know exactly if they thought that through. Um, maybe this was the plan all along, but if you ask me, I think Mike Schmidt is a bit more historic than Ryan Sandberg. But that's just my opinion. I think it would have been better if they did that. But nonetheless, this Mike Schmidt card is still really good for only being a 95 overall. And, uh... You know, he's still kind of an endgame card. He has great contact, or not great contact. He has great power, great fielding, and he's got about 60 speed. But I do think he would be a little bit better suited as an immortal. But Miguel Cabrera, I do think, really does deserve it. If you look at other guys that could possibly get it. Some people said Joe Morgan deserved the immortal second baseman more than Ryan Sandberg, which I definitely can see. Um, I've heard other people say that Ichiro Suzuki should be an immortal. Um, honestly, I don't know how the, exactly that would work because, you know, his contact could go up, but he was never really a power hitter. So I don't know if they could even get him to a 99 overall because his feelings like maxed out. His base running's pretty much maxed out. They can't really move his power that much. So I really don't see Ichiro happening. I thought about Andre Dawson, but he already has a 95. Ernie Banks already has a 93. I think it's going to be Mel uh, Miguel Cabrera um, for those reasons. Like I said, his speed and his base running is going to be better. So is his fielding and his hitting stats will be better. And I think a 99 overall Immortal would be suiting for his career because obviously Miguel Cabrera is a, no doubt about it, first ballot Hall of Famer in my opinion. But 
Going back to something I mentioned earlier in this video, talking about other content, um, regarding whether or not we cook at Future Immortals, of course we know we're getting the postseason player of the month kind of um, thing, as you guys can see, it, uh, it says it'll happen after the World Series ends, so kind of like how we got the Springer last year, that will be of course in this year as well. And then uh, the top, the MLB The Show Finest program is also going to come out in late October. So last year I don't think it came out around... Uh, until winter like uh january or december so that's gonna come earlier so that means like once a world series ends this mic chart will be unlockable and attainable but other than that we still will be getting the halloween thanksgiving and christmas equipment item programs um of course if you guys remember last year uh, well, actually, I don't even remember who exactly they were, but I would imagine since this is going to be at the end of the cycle, they are going to be pretty good cards, so I am excited for that. Honestly, I think they're doing a really good job of content right now. They put out a lot of cards and packs, even though they really aren't being pulled, um, but I don't know. Maybe that's just because people don't pull packs like that right now. I'm not really too sure. They put out a good postseason program that it's fun. It's not mindless grinding. The... Um, the uh, future stars programs they put out really well and then this which I assume you won't have to put any equipment any stubs in whatsoever And it's honestly kind of fun grinding. I'm not actually Regretting and hating doing it So I think they are doing a much better job of content wise and I hope they can continue this until at least January January hits you can step off the gas pedal and you know everybody will be fine. We can wait two months until you know, MLB The Show 19, that's fine. But until then, keep putting out content. It's not October yet. You guys still have at least two months where hopefully you guys can still be putting out consistent content. But if you guys did enjoy this video and have your own thoughts and opinions on who you think will be getting Immortal Cards in MLB The Show 18, make sure to let me know down below. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to have a like down below. Hope you guys are great today. And there you guys comes out. Yay. Love is love and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone, you know I'm in my zone I took a bite of the glory, I tell you